under cover of darkness. A 10-foot tall statue wielding what's become the symbol of Hong Kong's protest movement. Umbrella Man, just one example of the burst of artistic expression that has accompanied this protest movement. There's so much talent, artistic talent here. Huh? Why haven't we seen this before? Douglas Young is a Hong Kong artist and designer who has not been participating in the Occupy movement. On a day when the crowds have thinned out, he marvels at the creativity displayed here. This, to me, is the most beautiful thing ever. Right. Um, and it makes the, this horrible building so much more beautiful. The streets and sidewalks plastered with messages, created by people like this young design student named Timothy Sun. I want to use my way to um, show my voice to the public. The pro-democracy sit-in, a magnet for artists who want to make their voices heard. Mr. Tigas. <laughs> Art teacher Josephine Lau painting yellow ribbons, another symbol of the protest movement. We can use different media to express ourselves and to tell people through their heart, through colors, through paper, through different media of uh, materials to convince different concepts to tell people what we feel about Hong Kong now at the moment. In a city where people can post anything they want on the internet, many young people still clearly feel the need to express themselves publicly with old-fashioned paper and ink. Uh, this feels very much to me like Twitter, but paper Twitter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Old school Twitter, if that's such a thing. <laughs> young takes the opportunity to post his own paper tweet. Do you remember what Reagan said to Mr. Gorbachev <laughs> at Berlin? Mr. Chief Executive, please don't tear down this wall. It's beautiful. Now it's up to the authorities to decide how they'll respond to this chorus of colorful voices. Ivan Watson, CNN, Hong Kong.